Now, let us see what is uh, Lamy's theorem. If we consider a case of uh, three coplanar concurrent forces, so PQR are three coplanar forces which are concurrent at a point O, say this is the point O, and the three forces are keeping the point here in equilibrium. That means uh, the resultant of this system of forces is zero. So, in such a case, suppose the angle here between Q and R is considered as alpha, that means the angle opposite to P, this is P, so angle opposite to P is alpha, similarly angle opposite to Q is uh, suppose taken as beta and angle opposite to R is considered as gamma and these three forces are keeping the particle say in equilibrium. Now, according to law of triangular forces, as you know that these three forces can be represented by the three sides of a triangle taken in order both in magnitude and direction. So, first if I take the first force P. So, let us take an arrow representing the magnitude of the force P. So, P has been represented. Now, after P I want to go for Q and that too drawing the vectors one after the other to complete the triangle. So, to go to Q I need an angle gamma that is the angle between P and Q. So, from the direction of P, I will measure an angle gamma here and after turning gamma, then I get the direction of Q. So, I will draw Q from there and from Q, from the end position of Q, I want to draw R so that I have to turn by alpha from there. So, measure an angle alpha and then draw R. We know that we are going to close the triangle perfectly as per law of triangle of forces and if I extend this, I understand that this angle here is between P and R that is exactly this angle if you can just see here and here. So, this is the angle beta. So, while drawing the triangle of forces, the angles between the forces are now have become outside the triangle, they are external angles here. Now, let us see what angles are there inside. Since this angle is alpha and this is a straight line, you know the angle inside is 180 minus alpha and this is beta. So, what is this angle inside? It is going to be 180 minus beta. Since this is gamma, the inner angle is uh, 180 minus gamma. So, as per law of triangle of forces, the three forces keeping a particle in equilibrium are represented by the three sides of a triangle taken in order. Yes. Once we got a triangle and inner angles, we also know a simple trigonometric rule called a sine rule. You know, sine rule uh, says that the ratio of each side of the triangle that means, if I take the side, this side P, so the ratio of P to the sine of opposite angle that is P upon sine 180 minus alpha is equal to the next side Q upon sine of its opposite angle that is this angle 180 minus beta that is equal to the third side R upon its sine of opposite angle that is 180 minus gamma that you know from fundamentals of trigonometry. And we also know that sine 180 minus alpha is what sine alpha. So, it reduces to P upon sin alpha and this is uh, sin 180 minus beta is sin beta. So, it is Q upon sin beta and this is R upon sin gamma. So, we got one good relation between PQR in terms of PQR and in terms of alpha beta gamma where alpha beta gamma are the angles here. So, if you compare this relation to this diagram, when three forces are acting in a particle and keeping it in equilibrium, then ratio of each force P for example, upon sin alpha means upon sin of the angle alpha means for P the alpha angle is the angle between the other two forces. So, each force upon sin of the angle between the other two forces again Q upon sin of the angle between the other two forces again R upon sin of the angle between the other two forces is constant and this theorem is called as Lamy's theorem and it is a consequence of law of triangle of forces. So, the definition of Lamy's theorem is when three forces act at a point and keep it in equilibrium, then the ratio of each force to the sine of the angle between the other two forces when you look at the first diagram is uh, constant and that is about law of, tri uh, law of triangular forces extended as Lamy's theorem. So, the advantage of Lamy's theorem is whenever you come across in future problems where three forces are acting at a point, then if you know the angles, then if one of the force is forces is known and all angles are known, then the other two unknown forces can be estimated. So, this Lamy's theorem is applicable for three forces keeping a particle in equilibrium. 
if one force is known and directions are known the other forces can be estimated so that we put to practice later while we solve problems